Is the universe designed for life? Is the universe fine-tuned for us, for human life? This question has been asked by theologians, philosophers, scientists, and humankind since we first looked at the sky. We all, at one point, ask ourselves this question. Are we in the universe because of it was designed for us in mind? Or are we in the universe in spite of its design? Most of us stop short of truly investigating this question. We never get past the first stage of investigation. We answer the question with, we are here in this universe. Therefore, it must be designed for us. If we only take the journey that far, we are doing ourselves such a disservice. To truly know what is a reasonable answer, we must take away all of our preconceived notions of what we want to be true. We must remove and strip those presuppositions of what we think are true. If we want to honestly know which is more reasonable, a universe designed for us or a universe not designed for us. We are not discussing if the universe has a designer, but instead discussing was it designed by whatever or whomever for us. We must start at comparing the two types of universes we have mentioned. A universe designed for us and a universe not designed for us. What predictive qualities would both universes have? What would a universe designed for us look like? Compare that with what would a universe not designed for us look like? Remember, to do this, we must strip away those preconceived conclusions and honestly ask ourselves what predictions we can make for those two types of universes. Then, only after that can we compare those with what we find in our own universe. Examine facts which any of us can determine. Investigate using examples we find in our backyard. What would a universe designed for human life look like? Would it be reasonable and predictable that such a universe would be hospitable toward life? Would it be predictable and reasonable that we should easily observe the majority of a universe made for us? Would it be predictable that life should easily thrive in such a universe? What would a universe look like if it were designed for us? Our observable universe is 90 billion light years. If you can imagine, that is unfathomable length. That is only the observable universe. There is so much more in which we can't even begin to know about because the light hasn't even reached us yet. What mysteries are beyond that? We can't even see the first 10% of this universe, the 90 billion light year span we can observe there is only one known place where life does exist. Not just human life, 
but all life. We live on a smaller than average planet in our solar system. We live on the only planet in our solar system that currently has liquid water. We live on the only known planet in this 90 billion light year universe that can sustain our life. Yet, on this planet, 99% of all life ever to exist has gone extinct. The vast majority of species ever to exist in the known universe has died off. They could not sustain themselves in the environment they were put in. So far, we are in that 1% of life that can sustain itself. 70% of this planet we inhabit is covered with water. You are unable to live underneath the oceans. 70% of this planet we inhabit is not suitable for us. We must live on the surface of this planet. But even then, 15% of the planet on the surface is not hospitable toward humans. Without modern technology, we could not live there for thousands and thousands of years. Only 15% of the planet could sustain human life. In a universe larger than 90 billion light years, in a solar system, on a smaller than average planet, in which we can only inhabit 15% of, in which 99% of all known life has gone extinct. What would a universe designed for human life look like? You exist only in a quantum fraction of space in this universe, less than 001 to the 64,000th power of the known universe. Remove, if you can, your presupposed desires. Don't try to grasp for what you think has been true all of your life. Instead, Ask yourself with skepticism and honesty, what would a universe designed for us, for humans, look like? Imagine, if you will, a speck of dust in the middle of the ocean. On this speck of dust is a tiny form of bacteria. Imagine this bacteria is so tiny and fragile it can only exist on a small fraction of this speck of dust. Even though this bacteria exists only on a small percentage of this speck of dust, floating in the large ocean, unable to ever leave that speck of dust, would it then be reasonable for that bacteria to say the entire ocean and the universe beyond was designed just for it. When we look at the unimaginably large scale of the universe we inhabit, we can't even use the ocean as an analogy. We are smaller than that speck of dust, but just because we have the power to ask, we think we have the power to answer. Is the universe designed for us? The fine-tuned universe. This assertion states that a small change in several physical constants would make the universe radically different. For example, if 
the strong nuclear force were a mere 2% stronger, then hydrogen would never fuse into helium, and thus into carbon. Therefore, it is reasonable to assume the universe is fine-tuned. Most scientists, astronomers, and physicists agree with the fine-tuned assertion, but that is the premise, and that does not lead us to conclude the universe was designed for us. Remember, we are comparing two predictive qualities of two different universes. If any of the physical constants were changed, then gravity would be completely different. Fusing of elements would not work. Light speed would change. And it's not just us that wouldn't be here, but the stars, planets, helium. The universe wouldn't exist in the way we know it to exist. We are not asking ourselves if the universe is fine-tuned for gravity, for helium, for stars. Remember, we are asking ourselves is the universe designed for human life? Observe the universe yourself. Whether or not the universe was designed, using only the observations we can, remove those tempting preconceived conclusions. Which is more honest, a universe designed for us or a universe hostile toward us, a universe in which we exist only through probability and trial and error. Life exists because the sheer probability of it not existing would be miraculous. We exist because 99% of the species to come before us have died. That leads to a predictive quality of trial and error not a universe designed for us. What audacity for a microscopic bacteria to say the entire universe was designed just for itself. That is exactly what we do. It humbles us, and it should, when we come to realize how hostile every other part of this universe is toward us, how so much of it wants to kill us, and how the overwhelming majority doesn't even know we exist and never will. We live on a speck of dust floating in the ocean of the cosmos. To that, we live only on a small fraction of that speck of dust. We live in the universe despite the universe. Perhaps we are not in the universe. We are not in the ocean of the cosmos. But perhaps the universe is us. We are the universe. This ocean of the cosmos isn't something we inhabit but it is something inside us. We aren't here because the universe was designed for us. We are here because the universe is us.